This video will focus on subtracting 10 from a two-digit number. Now, yesterday, we worked on subtracting 10 from a two-digit number using base 10 blocks, and we tried looking at the patterns. What did we notice that happened in the ones place and the tens place? Today, we're gonna to continue that, but we're going to use a hundreds chart. So we're still gonna subtract 10 from a two-digit number, but today we're gonna to use a hundreds chart. Now, you've used a hundreds chart before when we've added 10 and multiples of 10, but when we subtract, we only subtract 10. So you may have added 10 and multiples of 10, but when we subtract, we only subtract 10 in first grade, okay? So here are the problems we're going to work to solve. You can see that it's written different ways. Remember when it's written this way, that that um, is fine. It may look a little odd to you, but it's still a subtraction problem you can solve. Basically, it means that what is on this side of the equation is the same as or is equal to what's on this side of the equation, okay? So, we're going to start off with 18 minus 10. So, I'm going to use my little blue piece of paper here to represent, to put on 18, all right? Now, we are going to subtract 10. So, I want you to watch me as I do this, okay? So I'm going to subtract. Remember when we subtract, we have to jump off the number. I cannot just count one, two, three back. I have to ju jump off to the 17 to begin. So I'm counting back 10 from 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is gonna be tricky. Make sure if you're going from 11, you're going back. So you go to 10. You do not go to 30 or back to 20, okay? So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see that I ended up on eight. So 18 minus 10 is eight. I want you to look at what happened as we move from 18 to eight. Notice what digits are in the ones place and what digits are in the tens place, okay? So let's look at another one. We have 36 minus 10. So I'm going to use my little blue piece to represent 36. All right, and I'm going to subtract 10. So once again, I have to jump off for it to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 26. So 36 minus 10 is 26. Look at the digits that are in the ones place compared to the digits that are in the tens place from 36 to 26. What are you noticing? Keep that in mind. All right, now remember what's tricky here is crossing over from 31. Remember, I don't go to 50, I don't go to 40. What's before 31? It's 30, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. I know that 30 is before that. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So watch out for that. So 36 minus 10 is a difference of 26. Now, remember, this is that one that looks crazy. It looks a little different, okay? So remember, it just means what is on this side is the same as what is on this side. I can rewrite it, but I still, remember, want my minus 10. So I don't want to start off with 10 minus 72. I'm not taking away 72. I'm taking away 10. So that's important, okay? So I can rewrite it if I need to. So 72 minus 10, I'm going to find 72 here. I want to subtract one, but remember, I got to go to 70, not 80, not 100, not 60. What's the number right before 71? 70. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So from 72 to 62. And then let's look. Look at what the ones place is and look at what's happened to the tens place. All right, so we have a difference of 62. And then we have 56 minus 10 is our last one. So we're going to find 56. I'm gonna go ahead and think. I know I'm gonna to have to go past this 51. And remember, what's right before 51? 50. So let's keep that in mind as we're counting back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I ended up on 46. Once again, look at the ones place, look at the tens place. So our difference, 56 minus 10 is 46. So when we look at all of these, let's look here. Our ones place stay the same, and then look at what happened to our tens place. 
Our ones place stayed the same, but look what happened to our tens place. Our ones place stayed the same from a seven to a six in our ones place, sorry, tens place. And then our ones place stayed the same. And then look what happened to our tens place, okay? So look at that and think about what pattern you might be noticing. And um, today you're going to be able to use the hundreds chart to solve your subtraction problems. Some of you may be able to get to a point where you may not need it, and that's great. But go back and check yourself with it, okay? So once again, we focused on subtracting 10 from a two-digit number using a hundreds chart, and now you're going to try some on your own.